What is going on YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, we're going to do a comparison review. We're going to do we're going to pit two sneakers up against one another. First up, we have the Adidas Ultra Boost uh, that we have here on my left hand. And next, we have the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a brand new Nike Air Force One in your size. All you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, hit that notification bell, and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics so that you guys can join the giveaway. So this is how we'll do the comparison. We'll go over the pros and cons first of the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo. Then we'll do the same for the Adidas Ultra Boost. And then at the very end, I will share my recommendation based off of those two pros and cons of the two sneakers. Let's get started. When it comes to the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo, it's really all about performance. And when I say performance, the amount of bounce, the amount of energy response that you guys get with this one is super noticeable. As in, you will feel a pop when you are running or when you are walking forward. I think it's the combination of the Zoom Air technology or the Zoom technology together with the React that they were able to put together here at the midsole that delivers that exceptional feel that you don't really get with a lot of other sneakers in the market today. I mean, literally, the feel on this shoe is super distinct, is super different. And I've tried a lot of sneakers. I've tried a lot of shoes, as you guys can see in all of the reviews that I've done here on this channel. This is the only shoe that that I get this type of feeling from when I walk in them or when I run in them. But it's really not just about the bounce because if you want to wear it just for everyday walking and everyday wear, casual wear, it is amazingly comfortable as well thanks to the cushioning that you get with that thick combination again of the React and the Zoom midsole. So regardless if you want to use it for running or if you just want to use it every day, it will deliver. But at the end of the day, guys, I really feel that this is like 80 to 90% more of a performance shoe than a lifestyle running sneaker. When it comes to the styling, I think one of the great things about it is that not a lot of people wear this as opposed to the Adidas Ultra Boost. You will see a lot of people wearing the Ultra Boost. So if you want to stand out a bit, if you want to be a little bit different compared to a lot of other people, this might be again a great option for you to consider. Let's get to the cons. And I have two particular ones that I want to point out with the Nike uh, Zoom Pegasus Turbo. First is a little bit personal. I don't think everybody experiences it. Uh, I have heel spurs. So there seems to be like uh, extra bone growth at the back of my heel on my left foot. So the problem with that is if the heel part of any shoe that I wear is a bit tight, it becomes super uncomfortable, especially if I wear it for several hours. Uh, that's the problem that I get with this shoe. I mean, I want to love it. I want to wear it every day. Personally, I love the feel and I would love, super love to rock it every day in different designs and different colors. But that issue with the heel is something that just makes it really almost unwearable for me, especially if I want to wear it the entire afternoon or in the entire evening or if I'm going to do a lot of walking. That for me is the big weakness. And again, that's personal. Not a lot of people have my condition. So if you don't have that problem, this will super work for you guys. And secondly, the upper is not as breathable as the knit materials that you guys see with a lot of other sneakers. Uh, I'm not saying that it is warm. Uh, it's definitely much cooler than the Adidas Solar Boost or a lot of the other tighter running sneakers. But it's also not as comfortable, breathable, as and, and has the same ventilation as a lot of the other options that you got the, out there that uses fly knit or prime knit or knit type materials. This is the Adidas Ultra Boost. And when it comes to pros, there are a lot. First up, I just love the cushioning of this sneaker. You really get that comfortable walking on clouds type of feeling, mainly because of the boost technology that you have with the midsole of the shoe. Apart from that, I also absolutely love the prime net material that Adidas uses, the mix of the breathability, the 360 degree comfort that you get all around your feet is just pretty amazing. I mean, if you pull, if you like raise your toes, it feels like your toes are coming out of clouds. That's how much, uh, that that's how great the feeling is in wearing an Adidas Ultra Boost. So if you guys haven't worn one yet, you are absolutely missing out. 
So try to get to an Adidas store and try to put them on feet just so you get an experience of what it is to, to walk and just wear an Ultra Boost. It's really something different. I also love how versatile this sneaker is and it's mainly because they were able to capture and perfect that athleisure, athleisure relaxed look that's all the rage right now. Uh, when it comes to versatility, you can wear it for running, you can wear it for working out, but at the same time, you can wear it to style your, your casual wardrobe up. And the best thing about the Ultra Boost is that it's been here for, I don't know, four or five years, which means that you have a lot of designs to pick from, a lot of styles to pick from. They even have multiple collaborations with different houses, different designers, to be able to give the Ultra Boost a more unique and personal look. So if you don't like the general release versions, if you don't like the retro versions, you can actually check out the various sneaker consortium drops of the Ultra Boost. My personal favorite right now that I have in my collection is the Kinfolk collaboration which came out last year. Uh, my personal super favorite and one of the grail sneakers in my list that I want to pop this 2019 is the Adidas Ultra Boost Undefeated. It actually came out last year. The one, not the, the most recent undefeated version. This is the black one with the white text of undefeated at the top. I missed that one. I didn't get a win. Uh, but I would love to be able to add that to my collection. So again, guys, the, the great thing about it is that it has become some sort of like creative expression, creative canvas for a lot of artists, which makes it super versatile. Now let's get to the cons or the negative points about the Adidas Ultra Boost. I find that there are just two. Number one, the boost material that you guys have at the mid so uh, tends to get mushy over time. So if you do beat this up and you wear it mercilessly, you use it for running, eventually the bounce starts to fade. That's the energy response. That's the pop that you get when you're running or walking in it. And it becomes more of a cushioning sneaker than it is like a bounce type of sneaker. So that's, I think, one of the major uh, issues that you get with the Ultra Boost over time. You also have like yellowing on the midsole. Uh, but again, you can just fix that by having the shoe properly maintained or using like a pen or paint to paint over it to keep it white. There are a lot of solutions to that one. If you guys are interested in me doing a video on that, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Secondly, the price can become an issue. Now, the general release model sell anywhere from 8,900 to 9,500 pesos. That's roughly a little less than $200, 180 to 190 dollars. But the main issue is that if you take a look at the different collaborations that have the nicer designs, especially the sneaker consortium drops, the prices tend to skyrocket north of 12,000, 13,000 pesos. So if you are after the creative expression part of the Adidas Ultra Boost, it will be an expensive endeavor. So what's my final recommendation? At the end of the day, if you guys need a performance running sneaker, it's very simple. Go for the Nike uh, Zoom Pegasus Turbo that you have here, but only do that if you don't have like a heel spur or the same problem as me. But if you, your feet are normal, this should be perfectly fine. You can go through to size. This sells for a little less than 9,000 pesos, roughly 190 or 195 dollars here in the Philippines. It comes in multiple colors. So just pick the one that you, you want to rock when you are running. You can also use it for athleisure uh, because it does look uh, pretty nice, pretty cool, but it doesn't, it's not anything loud or super different, but it will blend into your outfit, whatever that outfit is. And when it comes to the Ultra Boost, this one is really like super versatile. So if you want to get a shoe that's like 60, 70% forma or 60, 70% style, and at the same time, you would want to run with it. So it is like some sort of like performance casual sneaker. I don't know if that makes sense. Then you can go with the Adidas Ultra Boost, especially with all the designs available that are out in the market today. Just make sure to put in a little bit of research so that you know what type of design you would want to cop and add to your collection. Personally, if I were to pick just one of the two, I would go with Adidas Ultra Boost mainly because of two reasons. Number one, I just love the wider selection. I love all the collaborations that come out. I love how sneaker consortium shops are able to really make this their own and turn it into a creative artwork using the shoe as a canvas. Uh, that's the first reason why I love it. And number two, I don't get the issue with the heel part on the Adidas Ultra Boost. Again, that's very personal. That's my feet. Uh, and that's a problem that I have. But this one really works for me, especially the stability version of the shoe. Perfect for people like me who have wide and flat feet. So that's actually it for our comparison of the Adidas Ultra Boost and the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo. How about you guys? Let me know which of the two shoes you would want to rock in the comment section down below. Apart from that, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do so because we do have that ongoing giveaway with the brand new Air Force One in your size. So that's actually it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed.
Peace. God bless. What's up? Oh, before I end, uh, please do check out. I, I just really need to keep plugging it because I put in so much effort in that one. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I have an entire playlist of my Japan sneaker uh, shopping guide or sneaking sh sneaker series. Check it out. Link down below. I did a sneaker shopping guide on, on uh, Harajuku, Shibuya, and a bunch of other places. Link down below to all the vlogs on that on the, on that particular series. That's it for now. I hope you all have a great weekend. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.